hi guys welcome back to another video so today we are going to talk about how to contact cgfns so i've been getting a lot of questions not only here from this youtube channel but also my friends asking me how they can get in contact with cgfns that is exactly what i'm going to talk to you about today so let's get right into it so there are two main ways of contacting CGFNS. As you've been realizing, the emails that CGFNS sends you, they don't really contain a specific email address, but they are no reply email. So you can't contact CGFNS via email. So there are only two ways of contacting CGFNS, and that's what we are going to talk about today so the first way of contacting cgfns is through their contact number and as you'll see on the screen i'll show you their contact number you log in to your profile your cgfns account and you'll see on their dashboard you'll see where to look for their contact number it is well displayed there the only thing that I want to tell you about their contact is once you want to contact CGFNS please have enough credit in your on your phone because CGFNS they take calls according to priority according to who called first so you might call and it will take time for them to pick your call. The second thing I want to talk about this, their contact is you have to be patient. It may take up to 45 minutes of you waiting online until they pick your phone. So just remember that as you are using their contact to call them. The third thing I want to tell you about their contact is you should look at your time frame according to their time frame look at their site to see what between what time and what time they are open because time differences really matter you might you might be in africa and it is it is daytime but it is at night in the in the us particularly where cgfns offices are so you should consider the time the time frame for example in my country i used to contact cgfns at around 7 pm 7 pm my country's time that's kenya so look at the time differences between your country and their and the us you'll know the right time to call them so that is their contact number and another thing that I want to tell you about calling them is you have to have your CGFNS ID at hand and you have also to have your date of birth at hand because they will ask you that for them to access your, your account, for them to verify that you are the one calling on behalf of yourself. So be sure to have that. If you haven't crammed your CGFNS ID, write it down so that when they take your call you are not cut off because you don't know your cgfns id and you have to go around looking for it another thing that i want to tell you about calling cgfns is you have to have a good internet connection because this call may take a long time for them to take your call so have good internet access so that whenever they take your call, you can understand each other and they can help you immediately. So that is the first way of contacting CGFNS through their contact number. The second and the last way of calling CGFNS, of contacting CGFNS through, their, through your CGFNS account. So as you will see on the screen, there is a, a place top on your profile that is written my messages. 
So you should go there and click on my messages. After you click on that, you will find a place that says contact us. Once you click on contact us, you will get prompts. They will show you your details and then they'll they'll prompt that you are sub, that you are supposed to fill especially the whatever service what services you are you are seeking them to help you with and all that just look around and you'll be able to fill all those prompts after that then there is a blank place that you are supposed to write in exactly what you want if your names are, are spelled wrongly you can write there this is me i want to correct my names they are misspelled and you write your correct names there if it is something else please write there the description of whatever services that you want in that box and then when you go to the bottom you will get somewhere that is written upload or attach file so there if you have something that you want to attach particularly any document that you want to be clarified let's, let's say your IELTS report let's say you are your high school certificate you will attach there and you'll be able to send them that copy once you've finished you go down and you submit the only thing that i want to tell you about contacting cgfns through this way is don't make several entries once you've submitted it once just relax and cgfns will work on your case after you've submitted cgfns will send you an email that's the no reply email You'll, they'll send you an email confirming that they have received your complaint and they'll tell you the details of your complaint. And then now you'll wait for them to correct your whatever you have, the problem that you have. That will take some time. Okay, so you have to be patient. Don't put in several entries because that will make their response to it. If you, you put in several entries, it will delay their response to your case. So once you've submitted, just be patient and they will work on your case. So guys, those are the two ways of contacting CGFNS. I hope I've been able to help you guys. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And if you are new here, and you found this information helpful, you are on the process of going to live your American dream, you are in the process of relocating from your country to the USA, please subscribe to this channel. And if you watched this far and you found this information helpful, please hit on the like button and also subscribe if you haven't. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.